Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this has kind of been my favorite video each month to film. So I am going to be giving you my monthly low buy check-in. So during this, I'm going to tell you everything I wound up purchasing throughout the month that is related either to makeup, skincare, hair care, or clothing, because I have been including that. I'm also going to tell you about the things that I really wanted to buy, but somehow managed not to. We're also going to chat about older products that I have been absolutely loving. If I got rid of anything, because I am trying to clear things out of my collection to bring in things that are really more high quality and more what I love now. And then I also chat about just in general, other things that are bringing me joy. Those to be honest, are usually not makeup related. Sometimes they are, but usually those are just in general things bringing me joy. If this is your first time to my channel though, hi, my name is Linda and I am a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber and I always wanna help you decide whether or not makeup, skincare, hair care products are worth your money. Whether they're drugstore priced, luxury high-end, I just want you to spend your money wisely. Also 2022, I am doing my very first low buy year. So I'm trying to be really conscious about what I bring into my collection and only bring things that really, really bring me joy instead of just purchasing for the sake of purchasing. So if you're into that, as you are watching this video, I would love if you'd hit the subscribe button and become a part of the Rockstar fam. We're gonna jump right in with both feet and talk about the stuff that I purchased this month because I'm not gonna lie, March was like a very slim month for me. I really didn't purchase a whole lot. And then April, April, I was just like, let's just throw caution to the wind, low buy, we don't know her. I'm lying, I wasn't that bad, but still, uh, we're gonna get into that. Let's go ahead and start with the makeup that I purchased this month. As a lot of you know, I did purchase the Melt Gemini 1 and 2 palettes. The Melt Gemini 1, the original, was my favorite palette of all time, but I had the very original palette, the one where a lot of shadows just fell out of the palette and just couldn't be used anymore. So I definitely wanted to purchase this new one. If you are unfamiliar, this is what it looks like. It is my favorite color story of all time. We just have those beautiful grungy tones, but it's more warm toned over here. It's just, this is my dream palette. I absolutely love this. And then Gemini 2 is one that I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, but I have wound up loving this palette. I have used this more times, I think, than since getting the Gemini 1, like using the Gemini 1. I just really love it. Like these grungy green tones over here are so fantastic and they somehow complement these rosy tones over here, which are not too pink for me. I am not a pink eyeshadow lover, but for some reason, these more rosy tones really work for me and I really, really love them. So I've really been enjoying playing with this. And the only other makeup item that I purchased this month might sound familiar because I mentioned it on a previous low buy as something that I was really curious about, or maybe I mentioned it on a will I buy it. But nonetheless, I was really, really curious about it. So I put it on my wish list and I was like, you know what, if I still want it after X time, there's no specific time. It's just, if I want it still, then I would buy it. So I went back and bought it because it had been on my list for a couple of months and I wanted it. So that is the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter and I got the shade Opal. We have a little puff ball at the end and this is very similar, you can see the glow there, to the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Beauty Glow Wands. And I just, I've been loving this. I've been wearing this, to be honest, almost every day. It gives such a stunning glow, but there's no glitter, it is just, beautiful shine. I, I just, I really love this and it's 13 bucks. It is $13. Like I don't, I just, I can't say enough good things about this. They do sell this at CVS if you want to buy it in person, but of course I'm going to have the link down below if you're curious, but just, I can't stop staring at it. It's just so freaking pretty. Now let's talk about clothing because I did buy a few pieces and this is the very first piece, which I'm still on the fence about and I would love your opinions on it. So I went to a street festival, a local street festival, and there was this local artist who loves to take clothing and upcycle it. So I saw this on a mannequin and was like, I'm going to try it on because it's that beautiful, but I know I'm not going to be able to afford it, right? So let me back up and show you the whole jacket. So we've got a very strong shoulder pad situation here. If I'm being honest, it's probably a little big for me, but you can see that some paint was added at the top, some red paint, and the whole thing is covered in glitter. It's covered in glitter and it is so damn soft. Like I just, okay, I'm probably going to wind up keeping it, but I still would love your opinions. 
I think what's throwing me off is that, like I said, it is a touch big for me. And these these are intense shoulder pads. Like I, it's a very crowded house situation, uh, but I think I'm loving it. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. I think it's kind of like a boss bitch move. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. So I try it on and I was like loving it and looking in the mirror and I just finally asked her, I'm like, okay, um, how much is this? And she was like, $13. I was like, I'm sorry, what? I didn't even think when she said $13. I was just like, yeah, take my, take all of my money, take it all. So yes, this was $13 and I got to support a local artist. So I'm really pumped about it. Something else I purchased is something that I was looking at when it was for sale on that brand's website, but it's not a favorite brand of mine, but I was able to buy it secondhand on Depop. So I was like, I'm fine supporting someone who already spent their money for it. So these are from Nasty Gal and they are tiger print flared pants. Look at that flare. Oh my God, they're so good. The only thing about these, and these were $13 as well, is that I don't know if you, now you probably can't tell on camera. They are quite sheer. They really are quite sheer. The quality is not very good at all. And to be honest, like I have some big thighs. I am a big thigh girl. And this area on the thigh definitely like stretches out a bit when I'm wearing them. So the pattern becomes even more see-through, but like how amazing are they? Can you guys tell that I like animal print a lot? <laughs> But I think these are so cool. And again, these were 13 bucks. So like this whole outfit, if I wanted to wear it together, I spent $26 on it. You're welcome. But being that I spent $26 on both of those pairs, <laughs> I spent $26 exactly on this next item. So you might've seen these in my last video, but these are some of my new favorite earrings. Look at these, these are brass and they are absolutely stunning. I got these from a local shop in Baltimore called Caravanserai. It is probably my favorite store in all of Baltimore. They do have a website, so I'll link it, but you can't buy these on the website, unfortunately. But if you're ever in the Baltimore area, I fully encourage you to go. They are amazing and have these gorgeous goods, but like these earrings are giving me life. These were $26. <sighs> God, I love it. Okay, but you know what? Then what? I spent $52 on a pair of earrings, a blazer, and a pair of pants. Like, that's not too bad, right? Do you hear me justifying? You hear me trying to justify? It's okay. I don't care. But I freaking, I should have worn these today instead of what I'm wearing. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're going to go with this. But I just love these earrings. And this is something I'm gonna mention that kind of falls into the beauty realm. Well, I mean, it 100% falls into the beauty realm, but I got my eyebrows laminated and dyed. So I do not have good luck with my eyebrows because I have one eyebrow that grows straight up and one that grows completely horizontally. So I have to use some pretty hefty brow glues and brow lamination gels and everything like that to get them to just behave and go remotely in the same, same direction as each other but I decided to get brow lamination done and they also tinted them as well. And it was $100 total. And I'm gonna link the salon down below in case any of you would like to visit if you're in the near the Baltimore area. It has been a game changer, okay? It has been a game changer. Whereas it used to take me 15 minutes or so to do my eyebrows, now it takes less than five minutes. I brush them with my NYX brow glue or with my Patrick Ta lamination gel. They go right into place, they stay there all day, and like I don't have to fill them in at all. I'm just, I'm in love with it. I wasn't ready for microblading yet, but I was like, I wanna get something done. And I personally, what are my bangs doing? What What's happening here? So I personally love the look of a laminated brow, and if you don't, this procedure, if you wanna call it that, is obviously not gonna be for you, but I, am freaking obsessed. And I know there are people who do this at home. I know Jackie Ina laminates her brows at home. After smelling the chemicals that went on my eyebrows that close to my eyeball, I am not personally comfortable doing it at home, I don't think, but I just, I love it. It lasts four to six weeks. I'm being very careful with it. All the instructions that they told me, they said basically, you know, get it wet as least as possible. And I do have to get it wet a little bit to take out the brow glue every day, but not much. And I also have been using castor oil on my eyebrows every single day because they said that helps to condition them because lamination is basically like a perming treatment. So it can make your brows super dry. Mine have definitely gotten dry, but the castor oil is definitely helping. Obsessed. And I have one more thing that I wanna mention that is neither beauty nor clothing. So I almost am like, why am I including it here? But it's because it's amazing, okay? It's amazing. And if you are a plant lover like me, you need this in your life, okay? So this is a little, look at this. It's a propagation station. So it has these little test tube type things that come out 
and you can just propagate your plants in it. And you guys, my plant here has never been so happy except right now when I'm crushing its leaves. I have had the mother plant of this for probably like seven or eight years now and it has stayed alive but it has never been thriving. I can't even tell you how much these little cuttings have been thriving in this station. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's maybe the shape of the bulbs or something like that but it is thriving and doing so well and I just love it and it was so inexpensive. Of course, I'm gonna link this down below as well, but I just, I've been loving this. Now let's talk about the stuff that I wanted to buy, but didn't. I'm gonna be putting pictures on the screen because again, I don't have any of these items. Does this mean I'm not going to purchase any of these items in the future? No, this just means that they've been on a wish list and they weren't urging enough for me to buy them this month, but I might buy them in the future. So first we had, when the Gemini palette came out, they also released this gorgeous, mustard yellow gel liner. It is so stunning. How much did it retail for? $22 is how much it retails for. Oh, it's so beautiful and it's killing me. Now, what I like to use the melt gel liners for the most is as an eyeshadow base. I think they're amazing because I personally have trouble using these as actually like a liner because I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that my eyes are, you know, a little creasy from being a little bit older. Uh, maybe it's the fact that I have hooded eyes, whatever it might be. It just doesn't work as well for me, but as a base, holy crap, like next level. And I just, oh, I still really, really love it, but it's gonna stay on the list for a while because I know it'll go on sale. Maybe like Black Friday, it'll be like 40% off or something. I might get it then. Then we had a bunch of lipsticks, okay? And I blame several different people for these. I blame Kate from Kate the Great Beauty. I blame Alexandra Anel. I blame Hannah Louise Poston. But the first one are all of the Merit lipsticks. These have been on my list since they were released. They just look so beautifully creamy and hydrating. I talked about wanting these uh, from Sephora and I didn't buy them and it's kind of like killing me but I know that I need another nude lipstick like I need a freaking hole in the head, okay? So I still haven't purchased them. I do have a feeling that at some point I'm going to purchase one of these. So if you've used the Merit lipsticks, let me know down below what your favorite color is. The color Slip is the one that I'm most looking at. They just, again, they look so hydrating and they just, they look delicious. I don't know what it is about them, but they look delicious. They almost look like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, but a little more affordable, not much more affordable but like a little more affordable. And then these two were turned on to me by Kate from Kate the Great Beauty. The first are the Surratt Lip Sleeks. Now I've never used anything by Surratt. I had to look them up to see if it, even see if they were cruelty free and they are, but these are just the most hydrating yet pigmented looking lipsticks I feel like I've ever seen. They have a shine to them, but it's not that they're so sheer that they have no color. So I love that combination. I think that is a fantastic combination. These are like a little pricier. They are $34 a piece, I believe. Um, they were on sale recently at Bergdorf's, but I somehow refrained from buying them. But again, they just look so beautiful. And similar to those, Kate let me know that we have the M Cosmetics Lip Cushions. Those also look really stunning. And I really have been wanting to try more M Cosmetics. I tried one of their cheek stains or uh, their liquid blushes. I'm not sure of the official name, but they really, really look beautiful, these lip cushions. And they look just, again, very hydrating, very shiny. The thing about these is I feel like they look slightly more sheer than the Surratt Lip Slicks. And I'm into like a bit more of a concentrated look. I don't know what it is, but Oh, they both look so beautiful, but they're staying on the list for now. As far as old products that I have been loving, I have two and they are both lip products. I don't know why I'm feeling lips again, probably because uh, you know I'm going outdoors more because it is spring and the weather is clearing up a bit. And when I'm outdoors, as long as I'm not in a super crowd, I don't wear a mask if I'm you know outdoors, outdoors. So I'm loving lip products again. And this one, okay, I would call this an old product, but if I'm being honest, this only came out a few months ago, but I have been re-obsessed with this. So this is the Derma E Ultra Hydrating Lip Plumping Treatment. Oh my God, the difference this makes as a lip plumper for me is just like next freaking level. So I will say right off the bat, this is one of those lip plumpers that you feel. If you do not enjoy that feel of lip plumpers, that kind of tingling, you will not like this one. I don't know why, but I kind of love that feeling because I'm like, that means it's working. This takes my lips from, so I have fairly, um, I guess, 
normal lips. I mean, they're not very thin. They're also not like super juicy. But when I put this on, I get super juicy, okay? I am suddenly Julia Fox talking about uncut jams all day and all night because this makes them that juicy, okay? I really love the applicator. It's one of those flat applicators and it's plastic. So when I pump this out, I just use my finger to put this on my lips. That way I'm not like putting all of my lip gunk all over this and it's just easy to clean. So you can see there's no like lipstick on it like there would normally be. I put this on usually when I'm doing um, like my uh, eye makeup or when I'm doing my skin makeup and I'll just let this sit on my lips for about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, whatever it is. The difference is incredible. It makes me like, mm, it's so good. I really love this. If you enjoy lip plumpers, I would definitely recommend this one. And the other thing that I have been loving is an oldie but a goodie. It's one of those things that I kind of forget about and then I like find it all over again and I'm like, yes, it's so good. So this is the Melt Lipstick in Frisky. So this is just a warm brown. I actually didn't use it today, but it looks similar to what I'm wearing. It is such a perfect nude for me personally. It is very warm toned. It has no cool tones to it whatsoever. I love this. This is the old packaging, but they do have it again in the new packaging. It's perfect. You put a little gloss over this and it is like my lips, but better. I just, I just love this lipstick shade. And I feel like for a matte, it is incredibly creamy. It goes on well and it stays on for longer than you would expect a creamy feeling lipstick to stay on. So yeah, this is just another one I've just been loving all over again. As far as stuff that I have gotten rid of, I'm not gonna lie, it's not a lot. Uh, I have been listing some items though on Depop and Mercari and places like that to, and by the way, those links are always in the description box if you're ever interested in checking out like my Depop shop or my Mercari shop. But I've been listing a few things that are more expensive things from my wardrobe that I just really feel like I'm not giving them enough love. So like I got a blazer from All Saints that I got on a whim completely because look, tell me if you're like this. If you're feeling good, let's say your hair and makeup are like perfectly just right, okay? And you're kind of feeling yourself that day. When you go to try on clothes that day, do you find that you buy more because you like the way you look? Because I definitely do. And also, if you are a good salesperson, I will just hand my wallet to you and say, just spend this all however you would like. So I was feeling my hair and makeup that day. I went in and uh, the salesperson was really good and I had on a real cute outfit that day and I tried on this blazer and I was just like, it's kind of cute. And I bought it so fast. It took me like five minutes to make a decision that cost me several hundred dollars. I still think this blazer is freaking amazing, but I haven't worn it. I haven't worn it. So I do have it up for sale. I also had a free people top that was really cute, but just never really cute on me. I have this pair of really expensive boots that I've never once worn. And I just kept in my closet because they're so beautiful. But it's time, it's time because if I were to sell all that, that would be a few hundred dollars that I could put towards my vacation or put towards new clothing that really makes me happy, even if it's $13, you know? So I'm trying to be better about that kind of stuff. I do want to bring more quality clothing items into my collection, but only if they're things that I will wear often and love often. Like I talked about how I bought some really nice quality t-shirts from All Saints and I spent $50 each on those shirts, but I love them and I've worn them both so many times that they've already made it worth it. So I'm just trying to be better about that. As far as things bringing me joy. So again, these are not makeup related. These are not clothing related, but I do want to talk about them. And first, I don't know how I never really got into the world of audiobooks. So I, I do love reading, but this year I've really bulked up my reading and I've always listened to podcasts, but for some reason never dipped into audiobooks. And now that's the only thing I listen to when I'm in the car or when I'm taking a walk. Like I don't think I've listened to a podcast in months, but I've listened to so many audiobooks. And the author that I am absolutely loving, and I have now read three of their books, uh, it's Taylor Jenkins Read. So if you are into audiobooks, and I would definitely recommend listening to these as audiobooks, you can read them, of course, but try listening to them as audiobooks. One of them is Daisy Jones and the Six. 
who, if you are a fan, especially of like Fleetwood Mac, they don't say Fleetwood Mac, they might as well say Fleetwood Mac. It's basically the story of like a singer that rose to fame and kind of, I mean, not really the hippie era, but just very much free love and everything like that. Um, it's just so fantastic. And then also The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I just finished that. Who it's good. It's so, so, so good. So I would really recommend checking out that author. If there are specific audiobooks you like, like specifically audiobooks rather than reading the book, leave them in the comments down below. I am always up for it and I always just, I've been enjoying listening to them. So I prefer somebody who does different voices maybe, or maybe they have a cast of people. Like Daisy Jones and the Six has all famous people reading it. Like I think Jennifer Beals is reading the lead character and just, it's just freaking amazing. Leave your recommendations down below. And then as far as the final thing that's bringing me joy, goats. <laughs> that's so stupid. My husband found a nearby farm that lets you go and cuddle baby goats. So you do have to pay, I wanna say it was like $30 for four of us to come for 30 minutes. So it's less than $10 a person. We booked it for an hour straight. So it was me and three other friends and we just cuddled up on some goats, baby goats, adult goats. And it just made me so happy. The only thing I was not expecting <laughs> is that, so there was one baby goat that was only four days old and he was so sweet and he loved being held. So we were just all kind of passing him around to be honest. And then they were like, okay, Linda, it's your turn. And I grabbed the goat and like, oh my God, I felt so stupid. So it was only about two weeks after we unfortunately lost my cat, Spooky. And they put this goat in my hands. And first of all, this goat smelled amazing. The barn did not smell amazing. The goat smelled amazing and sweet and beautiful and weighed exactly the same amount as my cat and felt the same weight as my cat. So I was sitting there holding a goat and sobbing. Now, thankfully my friends know me and they know what was going on. So they just were like very kind about it, of course. But I just, it was so cathartic. And I fully encourage you, look into if where you live has any local firms that do anything about that because we just found another place nearby that lets you cuddle cows and I'm gonna do it, okay? I'm gonna cuddle a freaking baby cow and you can't stop me. I think that's money well spent, okay? How much does therapy cost for a half hour? How much does cuddling goats cost for a half hour? I rest my case. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed my low buy check-in. And while I'll admit I did spend more this month than I did last month, these are purchases I feel really, really good about. Like I'm trying to support local artists and support local shops. I'm trying to shop secondhand as with the pants. Now the makeup palettes, I have nothing I can say about that, okay? I already had the Gemini One palette and I still bought another one. Did I throw away the Gemini One palette? I did not. I did not, I'm still using it. So I just, look, I have no explanations for that one, okay? Except that I did get a pretty good deal because both those palettes together were $80 when I bought them and they're normally 58 each. So anyway, if you yourself are on a low buy or a no buy, I want you to tell me in the comments, how did you do this month? And if you didn't do well, please know that's fine because I feel bad. I always get these comments of people who are like, I did so bad on my low buy this month. I bought so much, oh my God. And I'm like, you know what? Next month is a new month. Next month is a new month so you can try again. And also, as long as your bills are being paid and you are not going into debt, I really don't see anything wrong with treating yourself when you can. Again, though, if, if you are not able to pay your bills, if you are not able to eat well, if you are not able to pay your rent, your mortgage, that's a different story. But if you are, I don't know, treat yourself. We work really, really hard, all of us, and we deserve to spoil ourselves once in a while. Again, all of these products are gonna be linked in the description box down below. And if you do shop through any of those links, I really do appreciate it. That's such a kind way of helping to support my channel and it means a whole lot to me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars and I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.